All right, welcome back to Sula's shop. So I figured since we're here, I may as well go ahead and just do a short, brief uh, video of how to install your disc brake system. So you don't have to search the other videos that I've done. Um, I think I've covered it in one of the other ones, but this is just a short and sweet one since we're here. Um, like and subscribe if you like my videos. Um, truly appreciate you guys' support watching these. Hope they're helping somebody. Uh, this is a 49 Chevy truck with a Speedway Motors independent front suspension uh, with a rack and pinion um, and it's bolt on. Um, I may go back and weld it in at some point but I'm pretty pleased with the assembly. Watch my other videos to watch the entire assembly of this independent front suspension with the uh, Speedway Motors um, uh, radiator support um, that's new and as you can just kind of look at progress thus far I mean she's looking pretty good I got the engine back in I'm installing a vintage air uh, air compressor for the 49 um, which I'm videoing also I'll do a series on that so stay tuned but uh, let's just do this real quick shouldn't take a couple minutes um, so what we did was we ended up, if you can see down below, I had a, a two inch drop spindle. I installed those originally, put the fenders on, put my rims on and my, my tires, let it, lowered it down to the ground and it looked great. Uh, if you want that look, it looked great. It was uh, the, front of the, the front of the frame measured six inches uh, to the floor. Uh, I live down a dirt road. I want this to be a daily driver. And I haven't lowered the rear end. I might one day, but I haven't. So she really looked like a rot, hot rod look. Uh, so I wanted to go back to the stock springs, uh, spindles rather. So I called Speedway. Um, they sent me the um, stock spindles. Uh, so um, now we're at the point where I swapped them out. Watch that video. Just to swap them out if you're in the same situation. And now we're just going to uh, put this disc brake system on. This is your uh, caliper brake. Caliper bracket, rather. Caliper bracket. You've got one bolt here, and you got a bolt coming through the other side, and you can see it right there coming through. That holds that caliper bracket on. Basically, you've got three bolts on the spindle. You've got one on the rack of pinion, one on the lower control arm, one on the upper control arm, and then you got your spindle. So that's where we're going to pick up from. So I tape this guy up because when you're working on this stuff, you know, you want to protect your spindle. Um, so I just, as you can see on my on the rest of my engine, You'll see a lot of blue on my engine just because I don't want to get the, the new stuff botched up or you know marked up, scratched, dinged, that kind of stuff. So um, you know, I just take your time. I mean, there's no real hurry to. Well, there might be for some, but there wasn't really any hurry for me. So I just take the time and take care of. Uh, Take care of the, the parts. They, they don't give them away. At least they don't to me. So, um, you know, they're expensive and so uh, we're going to take care of them. I guess this could be the challenge of when you do uh, tape stuff up to get it all done tape when you're done. Or, think that you know you would hit, hit a point where you could just unravel it before we get in there. Sorry about that. Alright, we're finally finally there.
Alright, take a guy along. Alright, go ahead and take your cap off. That's where your threads are going to be for your castle nut. And it's keyed. So just make note of that. Alright, so I'm using Valvoline Multi Vehicle High Temperature Red Grease. There's other kinds out there. That's what I use. Recommended for GM and Chrysler vehicles. I have no idea if that's even a thing, but that's what it says on the can. So what you really want to do is you just want to get some in your in your hand and you want to really grease this guy up. Because um, this is where she'll be spinning. The grease is cheap. I think uh, Godspeed uh, YouTube channel said the same thing. Um, which, if you haven't checked out his videos, kudos to him. I uh, learned a lot from his uh, independent front suspension video when I did mine. Virtually the same kind of system. Um, he just did it on a, I think it was a 53 or 55 Chevy, uh, I think it was a Bel Air. But anyway, just be very generous with, with the uh, grease. Again, it's not going to hurt anything. Take your caliper. Now, I've already pressed the bearings in. You can do this without a press, um, and I did. Um, watch my other videos. Um, also, watch Godspeed's video too um, on YouTube. Go ahead and put some more grease down in there. It doesn't hurt anything. There's two races. There's one in the back, which you'll see right there. And there's one on the front. This one is held on by a retaining ring, which you got to kind of tap in. I can't stress this enough to put, I mean, just put the grease on there. I mean, get it in there and get it, you know, to where you can turn it and everything. Um, it's going to make it so much easier to install. When you get it to where you think it's good, I kind of like to just level it off. And you can actually, you don't have to put the outer one on yet. You can wait. Oh, I have to clean all this up. Anyway, there she goes. So now it's on. And of course, I want to have grease everywhere, but that'll all clean up. All right, put your outer bearing in there. I put more grease in there, man. And ladies, you know, just, I mean, be very generous. And again, we'll have to clean all this up when we put the disc brakes on, but you get the picture. The washer is a keyed washer, and there's a, there's a slot, so put it on there accordingly, so it just goes on there. and then just torque it down the specs um, yeah so now I got grease all over me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gloves off clean hands Go get a rag. Over the grease. Clean it all up. This is just good old brake cleaner. And I'm going to do this probably, I don't know, a hundred more times. Not for the video, obviously, but you get my point. Get 
just got to make sure that that guy is clean and clean on both sides. So, yep, that's about right. And then line up your hole. Let it go on a little bit more. So I can line up the uh, castle nut. There she goes. So you get in there all the way. I sometimes will take a pair of pliers, pull them all the way in, like so. And then uh, take this around. Like so. Make sure. Be a little too tight. Probably is. So we're gonna bring her back off. I mean, she's gotta be tight, but not tight to where she, she's not gonna roll or um, spin. You know what I'm saying? This is really the only thing that I'm, I'm using an impact wrench on. So this time, I'm going to go use my torque wrench. I'm going to look up the spec. And use the torque wrench. Alright, so I looked up the uh, torque specs. Basically what you're supposed to do is, you know, um, or a good rule of thumb, you can always look up the torque specs, but this is what I do. Um, I learned from Godspeed Garage, another YouTube channel. Um, Finger tight, can she she spin? Absolutely, that's a good thing. So then we want to go to 250. Of course. Oh. 250 uh, inch pounds. Not foot pounds, inch pounds. 
So basically, we're not going to put a whole lot on on this guy at all. but it does, it's, it's, it's good. So then you spin it to kind of seat it and you come back out about a half a turn. Spin it some more. And then you want to go to about 100 inch pounds. Right there. And then you just kind of spin it to where you can get your castle nut in. Right there. And there you go. Okay, and then put your cap back on it. Okay, and that is good. to our brake calipers. So this is the tricky part. So you got the, your little copper washer. The copper washer needs to go in between the actual caliper and the bracket. And then you put your your, your um, screw in there. Your nut. Huh, your bolt. Hello. Get it one of these times. Put a little lock nut on, lock tight on there. Just get it started.
my head's probably in the way. Sorry, you guys, girls. That is essentially it. You would just uh, tighten them up. Then you would um, put your banjo nut with your washer washers back on the bottom make sure not to cross thread them or anything and I'm just now looking down at the ground and I see that copper washer washer for the uh, that bottom bolt that I forgot so the uh, brake line finger tight bring this one back out it's the bottom caliper bolt bring it all the way out put your copper washer in between And that is basically it. Tighten everything down to torque specs, and uh, I'll do it. Please uh, like and subscribe. I'd, I'd appreciate it.